Hey everyone, uh, welcome to Educon community. And uh, today uh, we will learn about the REST API. So this is uh, the REST API part one. So what is the REST API? So you all know, I think uh, the REST means the re representational state transfer. transfer and uh, what is the api api means the application program interface so uh, this is the full form of the rest api so what is the main motive uh, for the creation of this uh, REST API. So the main purpose of REST was to create the standards for communication between two servers that are located anywhere in the world. So to, so purpose is to connect between servers okay uh, located right in the world so this is the purpose and why it is important means why we will learn this restful api or restful web services because many companies uh, like or prefer the developers with the rest knowledge as uh, they will help or they can help uh, the company to develop the products that are scalable easy and uh, maintainable okay purpose and required for required why why it is required the developers with the knowledge of race can develop new applications or any features uh, using uh, this knowledge and which will be using uh, this knowledge and the applications will be what mainly scalable those applications to maintain and also interact you can say so uh, and you can say the third as make the products means the or the products out to the world 
Two. Uh, these are the reasons uh, why we will learn uh, the REST API or uh, REST uh, web services and why uh, we will use this in our company or company prefer the REST full web service knowledge developers. Okay. So, there are uh, some RESTful web services implemented using the Spring MVC framework. So, next we will learn what is the RESTful web services. Web services, RESTful web services are the services which follow the REST architecture and uh, uses the HTTP protocol. So first one thing we can say as web services which uh, follows follow the REST architecture. Secondly, this HTTP protocol. HTTP protocol, you know, I think uh, this is the web protocol, one of the one web protocol. Uh, so it uses the HTTP protocol for implementation. And this, uh, some features of this uh, are like, these services are lightweight. Which I have told also. Level also. So these services are lightweight, easy to maintain, and scalable also. Uh, support. Communication. Among. Multiple applications. Uh, which are, which uh, are developed using different programming languages. So, developed uh, using different uh, programming languages. Okay. Developed developed in different programming languages. Fourth point also, can be like they provide a uh, means of accessing resources present at server required for the client via the web browser means some request will go from the client and from the server, the response will come to the client. This is the, you know, the uh, client server architecture that some request will go from the client to server and server will give the responses. So basically, uh, they provide also using resources 
present the server. Form of what request headers request body response body response body several quotes so this is the restful web services we will to know that okay so next we will discuss uh, here i have told that uh, the restful resources means accessing these resources so what is rest resource what is rest resource so resource means a content from where we get some knowledge right so like every content this rest resource is also a content also a content uh, then uh, resources like uh, we can say as object op world uh, and represented files means in the dot txt format or some dot html format or like uh, dot html format also or uh, it can be some dot uh, jpg format or dot png format many formats you can say that any other dynamic data so the rest server provides access to those resources where the rest client consumes means access and modifies okay these resources and every resource is identified by means of uri the rest server provides some access so which type of access consume consume means what so we can access or edit or modify means uh, you can view then edit like in the uh, google docs there will be some options right to get the access 
then after getting the access there will be some view access only access can be uh, many types like only view access you cannot edit or then edit access so edit or modify the same part but same way so this and the next point i can say like uh, Sources can be identified by URI. Okay. So URI I have uh, written here. So what is the URI? Okay. So I will tell you URI. What is URI? So URI means the uniform resource identifier. Okay. Resource identifier. This is the full form, which is mainly uh, used for identifying each resources of the REST architecture. And what is the syntax or what is the format of URI? Format is like there will be some protocol. Then colon, then double slash, then service name, then I have told that the resource. So the resource type, Then the resource ID. So resource ID can be uh, the first and the second uh, can be the resource type. It can be the so it is the uniform resource ID. Okay. So URI can be divided into two parts. Is there are two types of URL. So the first one is URL, and the second one is URN. Okay. So what is the URL and what is URN? Okay. So first I will discuss the URN. URN means the uniform resource name. This mainly identifies the resource by means of a name that that is uh, both unique and persistent. Identifies the resource by means of name. and the name will be unique and persistent. And URN does not always specify where to locate the resource on the internet and they are used as the templates that are used by other parsers to identify the resources so they mainly follow the urn scheme and usually prefixed with urn so like what is type like example i can say like uh, uh, urn means they are prefixed with urn so urn will be first then urn after that can be ISBN, then there will be ISBN number, which can be uh, 10 digits like um, okay. this is. So this is used for the identification of a book. So in book, there is uh, some ISBN number, right? 
and on the basis of ISBN number, uh, we can specify a book or identify a book. So this is the URN, the unified or uniform uh, resource identifier. Sorry, uh, you, uh, uniform resource name, which is URN and URI is uniform resource identifier. So this is the URN and uh, when URN identifies a document, they are easily translated into a URN. Okay, so URN means in the help of URN, we can get uh, the URL and through which we can get the URL by using a resolver. After which the document can be downloaded. Okay. URN can be translated into RL. And after getting this with the help of resolver, download the resource. So next I am saying about URL. So URL means uniform resource locator. Okay. Uniform resource locator. It has the information regarding fetching of a resource from its uh, location, like example, HTTP, then colon after double slash, then suppose educon dot com, then suppose uh, rest, API dot HTML. Okay. In this format also, you can get the help of hyphen zip or txt format. You can get all get it also in uh, zip format. Many formats are there which I have uh, said in the REST resource. So URLs uh, mainly means here, this can be or this can be like file, okay. So this can be in file format. This HTTP mainly in HTML. URL starts with a protocol like FTP or HTTP. Okay. And they have the information of the network hostname, so, uh, like uh, here educon.com or something, some page.com. So it can also have query parameters like there is some domain name. Okay. Domain. So domain name can be like. www.testapi.com then uh, HTTPS is the protocol. This is protocol. This HTTPS is like protocol and this info, this is like So here I have discussed about uh, what is the REST API 